It's pretty common to find many different chemicals and pesticides in use on a modern farm these days. So common, it's easy to take them for granted. And taking them for granted can lead to carelessness, which in turn can lead to serious injury. So let's take a few minutes and talk about good practices for the safe use of chemicals and pesticides on the farm. When working around chemicals and pesticides, it is best to be properly trained to ensure your safety. There are chemical and pesticide courses available and should be taken if you are working directly with the application or handling of chemicals and pesticides. Be aware your state may require training and certification to lawfully do this type of work. Prior to using chemicals, familiarize yourself with safety and warning symbols and what dangers the different chemicals will present when mishandled. Before using any chemicals, read through the materials safety data sheet to learn more about how to properly handle that particular chemical as well as what to do in case of emergency. Training and reading these safety materials is very important. That's because you need to know more than just how to properly apply the chemical product. You also need to know how to minimize health risks from chemical and pesticide exposure. How to recognize signs and symptoms of illness from chemical exposure. You will also want to know how to respond with first aid and how to clean up a spill and how to deal with any emergencies involving chemicals how to transport, mix, load, store, and dispose chemicals and their containers safely. Make sure you and your workers wear, use, and maintain protective equipment. When handling chemicals, it is important to always wear protective gloves, as well as protective clothing. When working with some chemicals, you will also have to protect yourself by using a respirator and eye protection. It's good to have absorbent materials handy in case of chemical spills. Chemicals can enter the body in four ways. Transdermal, through the skin, inhalation, through breathing, ocular, through the eyes, and ingestion, through swallowing. Always store chemicals in their original, well-labeled bottles. If this is not possible, make sure they are stored in clearly marked containers. Always keep the storage area locked and separate from where animals are housed and away and out of reach of children. Always wash hands after using or storing chemicals in case you have any chemical residue left on your hands that can be transferred into the body from eating, smoking, and using the bathroom. If any chemicals slosh or spill on clothing while you are working, make sure you shower and change clothes right away to avoid absorbing dangerous chemicals into your body. So remember, the best way to avoid chemical accidents while working on the farm. Always lock up and store pesticides separately, away from people and animals. Always wear the proper protective clothing, gloves, eyewear, and respirator when needed. Thoroughly clean chemical residue off equipment after use, and always wash your hands after handling any pesticides or chemicals and you'll stay safe from pesticide and chemical mishaps while doing your farm work.